Hey everyone, welcome to Snarf Talk with Chris and Jerry, and this is our podcast where we give you a behind-the-scenes look as we create a comic book. We're going to talk about TV, movies, comic books, and hopefully have a lot of guests, other writers, creators, and friends. Um, check us out at snarfcomics.com. You can check out our blog and follow along with everything we got going on. Also, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Snarf Comics, and please subscribe and leave a review on iTunes. Enjoy the episode. <laughs> We can start. I don't care if you want to start later than this. Or if you wanted to start 55 seconds ago like I, I have I already done. know that you started. Damn it. I heard the click. I know. It clicks now, I'm, and it never used to. I'm on to you, Mr. Snyder. You are. I got it's this. been like a thing, and David brought it up to me. I was at his house last weekend. He's like, is it a thing now where you try to start the the podcast like where Chris doesn't know? Well, no, so I'm, I'm it always, always going to be on the lookout. I know. That sucks. Hey, Snarf Talks back. Hey, how's it going? I am the incredible Jerry Snyder. And I'm just... With my extra, my co-host, uh, Chris Harford. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, we're... Um, I feel like I just saw you. Yeah. Because we recorded two nights ago. Yeah, we're we're doing things different. We're, we're keeping up on top. I'm going on vacation in a couple weeks. Right. This, we, don't be... Don't be uh, sad, but this is a banked episode. We're pre-recording this episode. But none of you will know this. But... We well, have, now you know it, but we could have been super secretive and said like... So if you just want a journey in the past of two weeks, we are on the verge of a parent snowpocalypse uh-huh. with that's every, they, an estimated two to eight inches. <laughs> what, what happened when it used to be like, if there was two to eight inches of snow, I don't even think they would report it on the news. No, it wasn't. It, I mean, they would report it, but well, yeah. it would never have been a big an deal. issue. But now it's like... That's when people had Buicks that didn't get damaged when they ran into like concrete walls, though. Yeah. Well, no, I mean like, it, it's, we're gonna get like that, two, I bet you we get two inches of snow, maybe. Yeah. I, but people, people are supposed still gonna to be start snowing out. at seven o'clock, and it wasn't snowing at all. I bet you it doesn't snow at all. Boy, am I gonna have egg all over my yeah, face if we I, get twelve inches of snow? I think but. it'll snow, but I don't think it's gonna be anything worth reporting about. Well, I'm reporting. I'm probably going to hit up, uh, you know, I, I guess I should, dang it. I was going to say his name. Everybody's going to know who I'm talking about, but it's, it starts, it's Robbie, mm-hmm. meteorologist. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what is it? Meteorologist three or something? I don't, I don't remember, but yeah. I go, I, I go for his reports cause he was a, uh, what's that one guy's name? Um, he's on channel nine. Jerry Taft. No, he's on channel Tom 7. Tom Skilling. Tom Skilling. He was a Tom Skilling guy. He was a, a intern of Tom Skilling's. And Tom Skilling seems to put out some pretty accurate reports. Well, I tell you what, he's a very famous weatherman, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gained some weight over the years, you know. But that's what my so You know his brother went to jail for like no. um, in that whole Enron thing. He was like a Big wig at Enron. Oh, yeah. I did know that. Well, this is the story I was getting at is that my grandma. So my grandma follows like all news reporters and people on Home Shopping Network and can tell you everything about their lives. She'll be she'll tell you. She's like, oh, you know that whoever on Home Shopping Network, she just had a baby, but it wasn't with her original husband. (laughs) Grandma. No. What does this matter? You know, well, that time's killing. He loves cats. How do you know that? <laughs> like you, you just made that up. No, it's proven. His brother's a criminal. I uh, Marley loves the news, so she's always watching it. She likes the WGN morning news. Yeah, I mean they're like, good. Yeah, they're I, funny. I I watch. I usually watch Channel Five in the morning. She's always um, obsessed with um, what's the girl's name? Aaron, and she's married to okay, the one guy. He he, the anchor. One anchor that's like early, early in the morning. They're married to They're, each other. Yeah, they got married. I can't remember what. Oh, I don't his know. Name is, but yeah, I, I'll have to ask my grandma. You know what? I can't stand about Marley w- could go to my grandma's house and I'm be. Sure. And she would know. They would love each they other. Would, yeah, 
You know what I can't stand about the WGN news? Annabella Ball. I don't even know what that is. She's a, one of the reporters, <laughs> Anna Belleval. Oh, really? She's like the um, on the street uh, reporter. Okay. And she's just like tries to be like zany and fun, but oh. she's just super annoying. I like the one guy that does those weird, funny reports. Um, the uh, sports guy. Is he a sports guy? Um, but he goes Pat, out. And... It's Pat. Pat uh, Tomasulo. Yes. He's a stand-up comedian. Did you know that? Uh, well, it, it makes sense because when he goes out and does like funny reports, uh, they're usually you know like gag bits, but he's trying to be serious to whoever he's interviewing. Yeah. But it's a, a funny topic or something. They made a show. Like, That's he funny. Had um, a show. It was on an, at night. That was like him on the street doing the, that skit. It wasn't the news. It was like oh, his really? own show. That's worth it. But anyway, I think he's a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Huh. It, like I said, it doesn't surprise me. He's got that vibe to him. I He doesn't... Uh, I like all of them. I just don't like Annabelle Laval. So, yeah. That's how she says her name, <laughs> Annabelle Laval. And she's Puerto Rican, and like her, oh, dad, so you, her dad is like... So you a, got something against Puerto Rico? No, I just bring it up because her dad or something is like the ambassador to Puerto Rico. Or he's like oh. some kind of um, big-wig governmental figure, or was. I don't know. So really? she's like uh, the princess <laughs> Of course, yeah. Of the kingdom of Puerto Rico. <laughs> she's the, she's as much the princess as I am the prince of Verona. Well, <laughs> well, you kind of are. I mean, I'm the first family. Yeah, you know, no, part of the first you're family. You're literally the prince of Verona. I never thought about it. Right. That's your new. Uh, that's like your new name. I'll I'll accept it. Because POV I've, Prince of Verona. I've felt as a prince my whole life. Used to be the last of the Snyderons. I and still am now one of the Jerry last of Prince the of Verona. <laughs> this could be a Disney show. We could make a comic about this. Jerry, the Prince of Ver- What Didn't you say you wanted to make a comic? Out yeah, of I want to make Jerry the last the of last the Sinerons yeah. a comic, I mean, but... I'll go for that. Prince Jerry. Prince Jerry, the last of the Sinerons. The last of the Veronians. The- of the Veronian <laughs> Empire. Yeah. I mean, we got something here. And it is the last... How come they're all about you? Because... Why isn't there anything cool about I me? I mean... Cause look at me, I'm I'm badass. Well, I didn't go to college, and look at me, I'm <laughs> badass. <laughs> That's good. Hey, so we've got um, we've got some follow up news. I got some um, news you can use. Um, I'm not gonna. Originally, I had said a story a couple weeks ago about like a hundred thousand yeah. dollars worth of comics that were stolen from Las Vegas. Yeah, correct. So incredible. when the news popped up today that somebody was caught trying to sell $100,000 worth of comics in Arizona, I thought, hey, this is, like, perfect. But it turns out it was a different guy selling $100,000 worth of stolen comics oh. that he stole from a one point four. He stole $1.4 million comic, Batman comic collection from a guy in Florida. Anyway, he got caught. Holy smokes. I'm not going to delve into that news, but... He stole it in Florida, s- tried to sell it in Arizona. Apparently. And then the like week prior, somebody stole something in Nevada right by Arizona. Right. I mean, I could understand the mix-up there. I mean, it's pretty close. Either way, that's a lot of uh, expensive I comic books. I think the books. news is wrong, and it is the same guy. Let's, let's just stop. Uh, we'll assume that. Although the one in Nevada was Spider-Man. The one in Florida was Batman. Batman. Well, news doesn't know. But I got I got some other news. Okay. DC and Marvel both win and lose the December 2018 comic book sales charts. I know everybody likes talking about comic book sales, Ooh. so let's dive in. Yeah. What do you think the number one selling comic book of December was? Number one comic book of December was probably uh, Batman Who Laughs. It was Batman Who Laughs number one by Scott I kn- Snyder. I knew it. How about that? Marvel's best-selling title was Amazing Spider-Man 11 at number six. Okay. Uh, Paper Girls was on the list. Holy smokes. Um, Marvel was the top publisher, just so you know. And nothing else that exciting about that, but I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I like that. Um, Another one that caught my attention, a short bit of news. Uh Laurel and Hardy are being revived as a comic book. Really? Like, you know Laurel, Laurel and Hardy? I mean, I'm familiar with the name. I haven't watched much. Isn't it a show? Wasn't it a show? I mean, they were like, um, it, they made movies. I don't know if they had a show. Okay. Well, yeah. Like silent movies? 
No, I mean, no. Oh, okay, well, then maybe I've just heard the name. But they're like from well. the 30s. Okay. My mom loves old movies, so I watched like all the Laurel and Hardy movies when I was a kid. They're good. Oh. They're funny. Um, one of my favorites was um, Babes in Toyland. I think it was also called March of, of the Wooden Soldiers. But it was a Laurel and Hardy like Christmas movie. They were like in a toy world. It was good. Huh. I've 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 seen well I haven't watched the movie, but I've seen it on TV, Babes in Toyland. Yeah, it's good. You should check it out. I believe you. That's it's, all the news that you can use. We well, didn't research too much. No, but there's a, a another good trailer that came out. I don't know if you have partaken in any of these movies. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a number three of this movie. A number three? A third movie. I don't know. What is it? John Wick. Oh, John Wick 3. Yeah. Has Have you watched any of those? Um, I'm very ashamed to say that no, I have not oh seen any of them. Gosh, Everybody says they're the best movies ever. I mean... Literally everybody Keanu I talk Reeves, to is like, you got to see those movies. Keanu Reeves is channeling his inner Neo in these movies more so than I feel like he ever did in The Matrix. Not by hand-to-hand combat, but with gunplay, I would say. Gung-fu? Gun-fu. Gun, not gung. Gun-fu. Gun-fu, yeah. He is amazing. And folks, we have a... We happen to have a villain in our comic book, which is also proficient in yeah. gun foo. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah not, and I haven't written that in there, but now I'm going to. Yes, you're going to. That's good. That's a good pull. Um, so, yeah, the, the third film in John Wick came out. It's called Parabellum. Okay. Um, and in the trailer, he kills a guy with a library book. Wow. Pretty neat. Uh, which, I mean, I've never seen that before. The whole premise of this movie the movie is that a dude comes in and kills his dog yeah and just this chain reaction of death (laughs) i mean i've had john wick one and two both on my dvr for like ever dude you gotta watch them they're so good it's not i mean it's not like you're gonna look at these movies and be like so overwhelmed emotionally or anything it's not that's not no, I, it's just I'm a, fully aware of that. It's just a good, good old fighting fashion movie. Beat him up. And I think Keanu Reeves is very, very, very good in them. You know, speaking of uh, movie trailers, this isn't a trailer, but it was a bit of a sneak peek. Did you see the whole thing with uh, Ghostbusters? Well, isn't there another thing coming out? Like yeah, another, there's like another movie coming out. Yeah. And they had like a, a picture that was like the front of the, um, you know, Ecto. Is it Ecto-1? Yeah. And um, but it's gonna be with the original cast minus Harold Ramis because okay. he's dead. But I did see that. I saw well the the report I saw is something about like Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd sign on to do, you know, another Ghostbusters, and I I remember I had glanced at my phone and saw the re- uh, news report that like popped up as a notification on my home screen, saw it and had to keep actually working. Oh, it's terrible. Sucks. Um, so I never followed up with that, but now that you tell me this, I realize that I never followed up with that. Yeah. I read a little bit. Um, it's going to be directed by Jason Reitman, who's Ivan Reitman's son. Yeah. Ivan Reitman directed the original. So Jason Reitman was on a podcast I was just listening to, which was either writer's experience or, uh, writer's, writer's panel. But I just, I was literally just hearing him talk. And I don't think he brought anything up about that. Yeah. Probably couldn't. Well, anyway, it's happening. And I'm very, very excited about it. I yeah. actually didn't mind the reboot. The all I've never seen cast it. reboot. I, I never watched it. It was good. I mean, it, it wasn't in the same. It didn't exist in the same universe as the original Ghostbusters movie. Oh. Like there was no reference to the original. So then I don't understand why people would be all like hurt over that i don't get why anybody if it's gets completely hurt separate over, i hate it when people are so against reboots and reimaginings and, and all different kinds of things because the original stuff that you love it's it, still there it didn't go away it's still there yeah, man exactly that's I, what i was gonna say it didn't that didn't leave you still have your original movie that you love yeah this was a big thing with the last jedi right so a lot of people hated that movie i personally 
did I, not. I love but... it. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say I love it. I think there are things they could do, have done differently, and I would have definitely done things differently sure. with uh, Luke. But it was a cool movie. But at the end of the day, it's a good Star Wars movie. No. At the end of the... You know, people didn't like it, and they can list their reasons why, but my point is we should do a whole show on Star Wars, oh, by the way. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we need to start doing that. But yeah. the, the whole point to me is like, okay, oh. you didn't like that one. There's a whole bunch of other ones to go back and watch. Right. They didn't go away. They've gone nowhere. No. So, and, and that's why... And you should be... And they should be happy anyway, because guess what? That guy lost his job, essentially. Pretty much. Yeah, he did. So, it, it, and all of this exists because of those movies you love, right? Like none, you wouldn't have the ability to complain about this movie if your movies that you love didn't exist. I'm excited that they keep making Star Wars movies. I hope they make three ex- a year for the rest of my life. Exactly. I'm excited to be able to go see, like, to it's the experience of going to see the movie, right? Like you're gonna go, like you and I get super excited we go on a thursday night usually at midnight opening night uh to go see the star wars Stand halfway down the mall yeah so, yeah we so did me that. and jerry went to see um that the, that was the first one that wasn't it was that, it the force awakens yeah that was so force we went awakens. the very first showing of the very first night of force awakens got our tickets way in advance everything yep. we go to the movie theater like what an hour and a half early because yeah, we're like we, we gotta were, get there early yeah we were early so we get there early and the line's not that long, so we're just like, oh, hey, let's there was, go. There was nobody there. There was nobody there. So we're like, hey, let's go down to the bar, have a couple drinks, yeah, and we'll come back in like an hour or whatever. Yeah. So we go down, we have a couple drinks, we come back like probably still like 45 minutes before the show started. We were go- Yeah, we were gone 35 minutes. A couple maybe? drinks each. Yeah. And for us, that's very quick. Well, for you, I have to struggle to get it because I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, so we get down there, and the line is out the theater, down the food court, down past the Jamba Juice. Oh, way past the Jamba Juice. <laughs> Guys, we were outside I mean... of Jamba Juice territory. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the little center area where the little wings go. We were down go. by Rogers and Hollins. I don't... Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's down there. We were in that center area. Yeah. But we still had pretty good seats, I think. Yeah, we had to get closer to the screen. I remember that I would have preferred, but um, it was still very good. But I think I talked about this once before, where when we went and saw um, Last Jedi, they started playing Ferdinand, oh, yeah. the bull, the, that movie first. Yeah, and we never got to see any of the previews. They didn't replay the previews. No, they never replayed the previews. The previews that we saw were all oriented towards <laughs> Ferdinand. All, yeah, they're all like uh, kids' movies previews. And, and you brought it up while the previews were playing, and you're like... The same, right? Yeah. They're, you're like, these previews seem really odd. Like, why would they play these previews for a Star Wars movie? Right. And then all of a sudden, Ferdinand starts playing, and there was an uproar. Yeah. Oh, well. That was fun. But they played the right movie. But yes, we need to have a whole, probably two to seven episodes just about Star Wars. start another podcast just for it. We could, do, we could do a review of every movie. Yeah. And do... I'd like to do some... Um, commentaries where we watch the movie i've always wanted to do that i know kevin smith does that and i love them yeah i love them even though you like he'll he'll set it up though where he'll say okay i'm starting the movie at you know the title screen now Now. yeah and you can sync up your movie to him and that's how mark bernard started on the show right on his did they do do batman first yeah they started the batmans so they did like batman 89 batman returns and then got into like Batman Forever, and I don't know if they did the other ones or not, but yeah, it's pretty good. I don't think they ever did like Dark Knight. No, I don't think so. They did um, thought... some Gotham. They were gonna do like every episode of Gotham, yeah. but then they quit watching. That's it. That's another like David loves that show. I liked it. I watched the first several seasons, and then like I have the last two seasons recorded on my DVR, and I have not watched them. So I, I yeah, I haven't. I watched one episode from last year. I believe that David told me about, and it was really good. Oh, I remember that. That was really good because I told you about that too. You did, and you're like, "Oh my god, David just told me about that." Yep. I think I texted you while I was watching it. I'm like, "This is the best episode of a television show ever." Yeah, it was very good. It was something with the Joker, right? Um, I honestly can't remember what it was either. But so obviously, um, it wasn't that good. But well, it was, but 
for for Gotham. Right. I guess we should say. I no, it's a good show. You're not giving it credit. It's a good show. I'm not. I, I it just never caught my attention because I was I got sick of the the little kid Bruce Wayne. Yeah. I just I don't know. That's they did Court of Owls on there. I know, but that's not when Court of Owls happened. So <laughs> kind of bugs me, um, to be honest. I have um, a little throwback to, well, I guess it'd be from two episodes ago. We were inquiring and wondering about Mysterio after watching the Spider-Man trailer. Yeah, I don't, I have, I don't know much about him. I have the um, Mysterio's best comic book. Um, I have the top five Mysterio comics. If you want to know about Mysterio, do you want to know him? Yes. That's a yes. He's on the other side of the room right now. What are you doing, Jerry? I thought you didn't drink. Stop it. <laughs> All right. Number five is Amazing Spider Man 13. Um, that is the first introduction of Mysterio. Um, number four is Amazing Spider Man Annual Number One. Um, in Spidey's first oversized annual, Doc Ock forms the Sinister Six. And that includes Mysterio. That's interesting. So he, he appears when? the um, Amazing Spider-Man number 13. Oh, 1964. So he's, he's an old character then. Yeah. Like way older than I expected. And then he is in that annual, as I, as I said. Um, number three is Amazing Spider-Man uh, 198 through 200. One of the biggest demonstrations of how sophisticated Mysterio's illusions can be. The villain tricks Peter Parker into believing he is Peter's dear Aunt May in a ploy Oof. to obtain a hidden fortune in the Parker household. You know what they call that? They call that the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> Pull yeah. the Big Bad Wolf on yeah. him. The storyline is also the final confrontation of the criminal only known as the burglar, the one responsible for the death of Ben Parker. Ooh. Yeah. That's heavy. That's a good three run. So you know what I noticed in the... Um, in the trailer for Far From Home, the new Spider-Man trailer, he his suitcase is Ben Parker's suitcase. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that too. He's got, and it says, it's got like a little label. When he closes the suitcase, it's got a little label that says Ben Parker, and he's carrying it. That's cool. Little that's, details like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, number two um, is, oh, that's a cool cover. Web Spinners, Tales of Spider-Man 1 through 3. Nice. That's from 1999. That's some cool art on that cover. Um, it's a short-lived series, Web Spinners, Tales of Spider-Man with the intent of letting comic creators shine in a Spider-Man anthology. The first few issues um, were art was by John Romita Sr. That's probably why it looks so cool. It's like his backstory. Um, and then number one. Oh, my. You'll never guess it. The number no, one I comic. Don't. For which I own, the number one comic for Mysterio is Daredevil, Guardian Devil by Kevin Smith. Oh no way! Yeah, the number one. Yeah, Mysterio comic. Kevin Smith's first eight issues of Daredevil Volume Two um, features one of the greatest Mysterio stories ever told. In Guardian Devil, do you want to do you want to spoilers? That, that shows you that shows you the love that he has for that character. Big time spoilers here. I mean. In Guardian Devil, Matt Murdock becomes the caretaker of an infant who can be either the Messiah or the Devil Incarnate. Oh, that's so Kevin Smith. Ooh, that is. Um, I have the book. But. <laughs> that is. He's, he, yeah, he as, talks a lot about As the story stuff. unfolds, Mysterio is revealed as a part of a larger plot, creating an event that would have an everlasting impact on Daredevil, the death of Karen Page. Guardian Devil is a phenomenal exp exhibition of not only Smith's skills as a to storyteller, but for proving what he could... What could be done with a goofy character if you take him more seriously? Um, they is mentioned. He, I mean, do people consider him a goofy character? I think he's pretty goofy. The really? dome helmet. It's pretty goofy. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't. Kevin Smith didn't has take some good goofy. comic book runs. Oh gosh, he he's does. got that. That's really good. He's got um, oh, he's got a great uh, Green Arrow run called Quiver. Yeah. I'm not. I've never been a big Green Arrow guy. He's got. What are you doing? I'm taking selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Social uh, media. Stuff, always man. about promotion. Um, he's got a good book. I think it's called. I think it's it's Black Cat and Spider Man. That's a good one. He's got a good run on Bionic Man. That's pretty good. Hmm. I don't. He also uh, wrote Green Hornet. 
And he's written a he lot. He was of big stuff. in a Green Hornet. He's written he did Batman. A... Well, obviously we talked well, about yeah. Batman. But he did a Green Hornet. Uh, didn't he do a Green Hornet like old, old Green Hornet? I'm not sure. He like was writing Green Batman Hornet. 66. Remember that? No, I thought it was like Green Hornet 66. Um, maybe. Yeah, he might have done that too. That's what I because th- he thought did Batman. It was. Is it 66? Or? Yeah, I thought it was. I'm gonna look it up because. I remember back in the day on the um, on the like original Fat Man on Batman when he was like interviewing people, like legit interviewing people that p- had anything to do with comics. He was writing that and talking about the movie that uh, uh, Seth Rogen did. Yeah, well, he wrote a movie or a take on Green Hornet, and he wanted it to star. I can't remember who, but it ended up that. Seth Rogen got the rights, and I think he produced that himself. I don't. I forgot about that movie. I I don't even remember anything about it. If Never, it was good or not, I don't not. think I watched it. But um, but, uh, Kevin Smith, he always makes uh, jokes about when he was writing Batman. He's kind of notorious because he made Batman piss his pants. Yes, and he always talks about how he caught so much crap for that. Yeah, because people. But if you read like why it happened it, it kind of makes sense yeah he was like being electrocuted i don't remember no it was an explosion i think um he was that's what it was it was an explosion and he talks about how like the extreme heat that hit his body yeah like, like if you have extreme heat like at, at that temperature hit your body you lose control of certain aspects of your body because of the temperature and that's why he did it wasn't it he was recounting a story to somebody else? Was it Robin or somebody that something happened to? And then, I don't know. Anyway, I'll have to reread that. Is that in uh, Is that in the Whitening, Whitening Gyre? Whitening Gyre, yeah. yeah. I, um, I have it at home. I'll have to check it so out. So it just says uh, Green Hornet. Hmm. It, it's not Green Hornet. It just says Kevin Smith's Green Hornet number one. I think Green Hornet might have been in Batman 66. I think you're right. That, that could have been it. I have a really feeling that it's not Batman 66. It's like Batman 67, but I can't remember. Um, no, it's Batman 66. Yeah. Never mind. So, any more news that I, I can use? I don't have any that I can remember. Um, yeah, Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman team up on Batman 66. Yeah, I knew that. And it meet, meets the Green Hornet. Ralph Garman, his co-host on Hollywood Babylon, which is a great podcast. Team up on Batman 66 and the Green Hornet miniseries. Oh, yeah. Batman 66 meets the Green Hornet number one. Yeah. So we were both right. Yeah. I, mean, I love it when that happens. <laughs> because normally it's like, okay, Chris, you were right again. That's normally how conversations go between me and Chris because I'm 90% wrong. That's an awesome book because Ralph Garman is a huge Batman 66 fan. Yeah. He was really, really close personal friends with Adam West. He does a great Adam West impression. He, the best. a phenomenal. But they were like really, he does really a lot good. of really good impressions. But they were really close friends. Um, he's a big, you know, supporter of his and everything. But then when he died, he they have a really good tribute and everything to him. So, and then uh, I don't remember if I think that they started writing that comic after Adam West died, but I can't mm. remember. No, it came out uh, twenty fourteen. Okay, I don't remember when he died. Later than that. Yeah, it was after 2014. Well, anyway, that's the news that you can use on to bigger and brighter things. Bigger and brighter things. Folks, you're going to want to keep listening to this episode because we're going to recount Whew. a great top 10 list. We love doing top 10 episodes. I We've love had a it. lot of cu- uh, feedback. But before we get there, we're going to do a little bit of news on the podcast. This podcast. Okay. Um, This might be new to me. No, we have... Some merch. We've got merchandise now, and it's amazing. We got swag, folks. Yeah, we're in a swag bag. So, I don't know what we're going to do with this yet. Um, We're going to create some sort of a game or some kind of a... um, Contest? Contest, if you will. Yeah. Contest of Champions. (laughs) Did I just steal that from Marvel? Yes, I did. Did you? It's their uh, app. So, what we're going to do is some sort of a gladiator... Uh, we're like a fight to the death yeah. thing, right? Well, is that what we were thinking? I mean, the I, yeah. If we're not liable, if it doesn't have it on my property, fine. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, no insurance Public is involved. Park. You've got to sign a waiver. Yeah. So we have stickers, folks. <laughs> yeah. They're sweet stickers. We'll put up pictures, uh, maybe. I would say we I haven't decided what we're going to do for these yet, but I would I would tell you... Two to, different types of stickers as well. Yeah, we have a couple of stickers, and um, I would just tell you to check out and follow Instagram and Facebook at Snarf Comics, Instagram.com slash Snarf Comics, yep. Facebook.com slash Snarf Comics. And you will get updates on how you can win one of these stickers. It's likely going to be through sharing posts and through leaving reviews and subscribing right. people on iTunes. But also, if you um, send us um, ideas for the podcast, we will sure. probably compensate you in stickers. Ideas or what, even like what you would want to hear. What you want to hear, what you want, to, want us to talk about, something like that. Um, it doesn't have to be about comic books. No. Either. I mean, we are open... To basically anything because we we take in and ingest all forms of media. Yes, we're curious people by nature. Yeah, big time. I so, want to do nothing that involves work, so I want to do things that involve entertainment. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, and I know you're on the same page. With, Although know. this entertainment seems to be a lot of work sometimes, but no, I enjoy it. I don't consider it work. Well, we're gonna have more merch too. It's just not this. This For doesn't sure. just start at stickers. No. Well, it it's does stu- just start it, no, at stickers. No, it absolutely starts at stickers. This doesn't end at stickers, Jerry. <laughs> we're going to have t-shirts. Yeah, we're going to have t-shirts. We, we're cars, getting t-shirts coming. Probably what private we planes. Coming? We're going to buy issues of our favorite comic books and give them away via social media giveaways. Yes. Via internet. Yes, but these giveaways are going to come with work on your end. Right. I mean, you got to participate. We just want participation here. You know, we're not going to give out participation ribbons. We're only going to award winners. We're definitely going to give out participation stickers, though. Yeah, (laughs) right. We don't have ribbons. They're not going to be a part of our merch. So that's where we're going. That was my only podcast news. I did get some viewer suggestions. I don't have them in front of me. I'm not going to talk about them right now. Okay. Um, Oh, we did have a suggestion um, that we should start putting in our descriptions. Oh. Or in the show notes. That's what we need help on. First of all, we need show notes Yes, that we need to put on our blog. Yes. If anybody wants to write up show notes for our episodes, feel free. Probably nobody's going to do that, but no. we need to do it anyways. Yeah. If you want to give us money, we'll take that. This is not free. Right. It turns out it's not free <laughs> to do any of this stuff. Um, it's but actually quite costly, but that's fine. It turned out to but be. But you know what? It didn't have to be costly, but we, we made it that way. If you We're not begging. If you don't want to give no. us money, please don't. But no. anyway, no. I don't know where I got on this. That says nothing to do with anything. <laughs> the suggestion was when you guys talk about shows and movies and stuff on Netflix and stuff, why don't you just put a link in your description to that? Like if we talked about that one episode, we gave a review of Jack Ryan, you know, write that in the description. Right. And maybe put a link there, too. And then, you know, that's just simple in the description. Yep. We also then need to be writing up show notes, which is like a summary with, like, sources and everything we talked about. That's a, that's like work. It's like a it's like a synopsis of the show. Right. So it's, it's going to give you, you know, like the, uh, what do they, what do they call that? Uh, the rundown? Yeah, like the thing for a, a book. Like where you could get cliff notes? Yes. It's like cliff notes. <laughs> it is like cliff notes, Jerry. It is cliff That's notes, amazing. right? Um, yeah. We also got some new cool features that I found out about, which is that we can put chapters into our podcast. Yeah. We're going to do that. And then also we can take audio snippets, turn them into videos, and share them on social media, which how we do, will do. How do they? I don't understand how they turn these into videos. Well, I think it just shows the, like the waveform. Is the video? Oh, okay. But it's there's not really anything to look. Can look we at. add it's pictures like a, where we like give like cool thumbs up? Probably. It's just a thirty second audio clip that's made into a social media post. Oh, so perfect. What we need is for people to, if you haven't, if you listen to a show and there's a thirty second segment that you <laughs> think think is really interesting, right, or funny, then let us know so we can make that into a clip and then share that all over the internets and right. then we'll enter you into a drawing to win. Stickers. A sticker. <laughs> yes. 
two different types of stickers. But if you are a fan of the show and you're listening right now, chances are we'll just send you a sticker. Well, well yeah, if you ask nicely, I'll probably give you a sticker. Yeah, we might. I've got some, and I don't bow down to what Chris wants me to do. If you, you live in the general Grundy County vicinity, you can come pick up your sticker because I would prefer to not pay postage. Right. Because I'm cheap. I mean, but I got stamps already, so. You got stamps on stamps on stamps. Yeah. <laughs> Federal employee over here is going to take some stamps. We've got a, at work, we've got a Pitney Bowes stamp machine. Oh, well. Where I can prepay stuff. I know where the stamps are being handled from. <laughs> yeah. They're going to they're gonna be stamped care of property of U.S. government. Right. It, and you're going to get it in the mail and think you're getting a summons to court or something. So, oh, I got a good story about this. So when I've called from work, it'll say U.S. It just says federal government, right? That's all it says, federal government. I called my sister one time. Oh, this my. Is, she lived in Washington at the time. So this was Washington, like, by Peoria in oh, Illinois. Washington, Illinois. Yes, not the state. Former home of a tornado. Right. She had just moved before this tornado, actually. she just That's when they moved out to Vegas was the same year that that tornado hit. Uh, and it hit, like, their neighborhood, which was crazy. So it was a bunch weird. of her stuff probably in my field. Maybe. I picked up a lot of stuff from that tornado. That's nuts. Anyway, so I, I, I call her from work. And I knew that it came up federal government because my mom had told me one time on the phone i called her i don't apparently i changed my voice well how i don't know i don't think i can change my voice well but i called her and i told her that her tax return was not accurate and she owed i was just telling her like how she owed a crap load of money to the government and i was like yelling at her on the phone you're like one of those scammers she was freaking out and she's like okay um, I, I'll get you whatever you need. And I was like throwing out numbers of tax forms made up completely. I was like, did you do a 2233, uh, 2233D and 2233C? Those need to be turned in. You didn't do that because I'm looking at your file. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, okay, sir, Um, I'm going to get you those. Uh, do you do you have like a, a, something I could, like a website I could look at to get these forms? It, it went on for much longer than I should have. I'm surprised she just didn't like go all out and just give you her social security number right. over the phone. <laughs> like, she, don't get a scammer around her. At the time, she probably would have. But then I started laughing, and all of a sudden, she flipped. She's like, she knew exactly who it was as soon as I started laughing. And I've never, I don't know, I've never forgot that. It was one of my best pranks. It's a good one. Well, you're the prank king. <laughs> I know. The I'm prank not. king of I'm, Verona. Prince of Verona, no. prank king of yeah. Verona. No, I mean, you're, yeah, you can be prank, the king of pranks. I can be the king of pranks, the prince of the town, right, and part of the first family. Yeah, of Verona and town jester. What about Vienna Township? Do I have any? No, absolutely not. No, okay, not a township king. Um, no. Ugh. But is Vienna Township technically the lordship? <laughs> I think it would be the lordship. Yeah. Like, who are the serfs here? I think well, we all know. Obviously, senates. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why I threw that up there. Serfs and vassals. Was it vassals or vessels? Vassals. You're on a different plane than I am. I don't right know. Now. I remember the word serf. I've never heard of a vassal. I think it's like I don't. Isn't it the same thing? No, couldn't be. Well, it's a thing. Vassals. I'm going to look it up right now. The roles of of serfs and vassals. I, my S is, it's bothering Terrible. me. Terrible. The awful. role of a serf was to provide labor services to the land he was assigned to. The roles, that role includes reaping, binding, sowing, plowing, and heading. Okay, I'm definitely a serf then. <laughs> they work approximately three days each week on the land designated to, a, to the vassal. Aha. They also had to make payments in money, grain, and other produce. The role of a vassal was to oversee the fief, meaning to watch over the... Fife. Isn't, it's fief. No, I'm pretty sure it's fife. Fife? Yeah, it's probably fife. It yeah, looks you like put it. the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. That's yeah. no big deal. <laughs> meaning to watch over the land and to make sure the land was well taken care of. They served the lord 
Okay, Wait. that's my position. They too right? served the Lord over him in military capacity. They also provided soldiers to fight for the king. Vassals were also in charge of providing equipment such as clothes and weapons for soldiers. Huh. So it was like another layer of bureaucracy. It is. So fiefdom. You're right, it is fief. I said fife. No, you said fief. No. I said No, you originally fife. said you originally I said, fief. said fief and I said fife. So it's fiefdom. I thought But it was. I've heard fiefdom. You have never heard that. Well, you're probably right. So, well, what what comes first, the I or the E? The I. So, I mean, it's obviously Fife. A fief is a fief. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's Fife. A feudal, a feudal estate. Does well, it give a pronunciation? It does, and it says fee, F-E-E, fief. You just have to win everything, don't you? Fiefdom. Really? Fiefdom. Laurel. Fiefdom. <laughs> Laurel. <laughs> it's fiefdom, and it's fief. Could it okay. be fiefdom and fife? No. 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 If they say, no, you just win, okay? Okay. So you're a serf. No. If, if we're going by lords and ladies, I would be a vassal. Would you be a vassal, though? You'd be a lord. Well, you'd be a, what's a Lord's kid? I would be a Lord, I'd be like a Lord Junior. What's a Lord's kid? That would be like a, an Earl or something. Would you be an Earl? Oh my gosh. Now we're getting into another layer of this. Stay tuned next week, folks, as we <laughs> research this further and as determine we unpack the Earl. whether Jerry, the last of the Snyderons, is in fact a prince, a, a, a <laughs> serf, a vassal, a, f- a lord, lord, a baron. Or an earl. <laughs> I'm definitely not a baron because you have to own land for that, right? Well, you own land. Well, I guess I do. I, be, I guess I'd but be you a don't baron own now, land in, but I wouldn't be You in own land on foreign soil. The township of Mazonia, which is my turf. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm taking it over. Well. I'm moving land. You're here at my convenience. Oh, okay. <laughs> but actually, that's not true <laughs> because your wife's family is also would be a lord of Correct. Mazonia township. Mazan. Yeah, Mazan. No, but it's the kingdom of Mazonia. Mazonia, you're right. You know what I've always wanted to do? Someday I'm going to do this. I shouldn't give out the idea, but you know I'm going to give it out. Copyright if, Snarf Talk. Yeah. Snarf <laughs> if comments. any enterprising listeners want to do this, it would be amazing. I want to take the Game of Thrones map and transcribe it as like Grundy County or... That would be cool. Yeah. So We like, could do... We'll do that. Like north of the river, you know, have the river and then... Yeah. Like, we'd have the, the north lands. The north. I mean, that's obviously, that has to be north of the river. No, no, no. no yes, cause... it does. No. Well, we don't like north of the river. Yeah, that's true. But then I want to come up with, like, the, the little kingdoms, too, and who the lords are. That okay. could cause a lot. See, the reason I haven't done this is because amazing controversy would be stirred by the If that got out. <laughs> by that map. You think that map <laughs> would cause controversy? Oh, my God. I mean, people would be crazy. They'd go crazy. Because you have to only put one name. Right, per, exactly. Yeah. People would freak. Holy smokes. And I want to do it. I think I think Pugger would freak. I need a list I need a listener <laughs> to do this in my name. It'd be a big battle between cause like Kilmers would be where? Probably shouldn't be saying all these names. I guess it doesn't matter. They'd be like, um, what's the guy? The uh, the um, serpent guy, the guy that gets killed by the mountain. He's oh, from the uh, south, like you know, the yeah. Uh, why can't I... he was the best man, the red dragon, the viper, the viper. Yeah, but what was his name? Um, that was that was a great character, and it um that show we're gonna talk about that show too. Oh, for sure, this, because it comes out I think on my birthday. The episode was called "The Mountain and the Viper." Prince Oberon Martell. Oberon, yep. He's in another show. They just picked him up for another, a different show. Isn't he in he's one like of the a, new Star Wars shows? Maybe. That might be it. He is. He's like one of the main characters he in one is of in these that, shows. Uh, and then, um, I think the Mandalorian show. That's You're right. That's the Boba Fett thing. Yeah. That'll be good. But that, that Pedro Pascal. That like threw me for a loop, that fight. Him in the mountain. Spoilers, if any of you guys haven't ever seen game of thrones shame on you the red viper i knew there was a red in there yeah he's red 
his mother and the sisters and stuff, those chicks were wild. Yeah, you could be, that could be down there because they got the, you know, they got some good names down there because you got the, you could do it by township. That's what you got to do because you got Good Farm Township. Yeah. You got. Uh, you think down by Good Farm would be like the Viper? No, I mean, Good Farm is definitely the, um, what's the people, what, uh, the Lannisters. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lannisters, huh? All the who's who's a Lannister? Uh, Be careful. I'm not gonna say nothing. We can write it on paper. Some people but I'm like not saying some it people like the Lannisters. Like Tywin Lannister is awesome, but he's not like the rest of the Lannisters. No, no, no. You're thinking of Tyrion. I am, but even I know who. Uh, I'm Jamie, Jamie Lannister is awesome Jamie's too. He's pretty good. They're all good except for Cersei. Cersei's the only one that's and her just goddamn terrible. Baratheon kids. Yeah, they're awful. Yeah, well, the one wasn't too bad. The one that died, Tommen. Tommen was alright. Prince Tommen. He was very impressionable. Yeah, it was just that's, that. That was damn his, Joffrey. He was young, and I never hated a character in anything more than I hated Joffrey. Yeah, you know why? Because you pronounce his name Joffrey. How stupid is that? I like I'm pronouncing it wrong. No. Oh, no. It's because they pronounce it wrong. Right. Call well, him Jeff. Well, that's not his name. It is. It's not Jeffrey. It's Joffrey. It's G. It, it, it starts it's not with spelled a... like Jeffrey with a G. It's spelled like Joffrey. G, it's G-O-E-F-F-E-R-Y or something like that. I mean, that just, that exudes inbred. Yeah, well, yeah, he was inbred. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know he was. Spoiler alert. <laughs> exactly. From but like, like the I first s- episode. Like I said, if you haven't watched Game of Thrones yet. You're missing out. Shame on you. We really haven't given away much because there's just. Shame on your entire family lineage below you. Yeah, exactly. And you can guarantee you're not going to be on our map. You ain't no lord. You ain't you no are, vassal. You're you a are surf man. Certainly not a vassal. <laughs> it's no. definitely not a baron either. I mean, are you even a serf? I'd call you a slave. I feel like the river should be like the Riverlands. Well, it would be. What's yeah. north of the Riverlands? Bottomlands, I'd call it. There's some stuff up before you get to the north. River bottoms. And then there's um, Nettle the errands that are in you know the mountains over there. What about... Would we do... Um... Like the stuff across the the ocean? Like what? the distant lands? No. I'm talking about... I, was, I wasn't I was thinking that We're far. just doing the Seven Kingdoms. Right. So you got to have something about the dump over there. The dump? Yeah. That's north of the river. Like, people farm around that. Yeah. I don't know, man. I haven't put that much thought into it, but it would be really we're, cool to do. Yeah, we're going to now. Yeah. We just said it on our super famous podcast. After we finish our comic book, next topic... Comic book updates. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've written. Writing has occurred. Yeah, so um, last episode we said we were going to get two pages done by Saturday morning. It's Friday night right now. It's Friday we night. We recorded on Wednesday, two nights ago, but you're hearing it two weeks later. Correct. And uh, so Chris did things. I wrote. I like, wrote my two pages. You wrote your two pages already. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't, and I I honestly planned to tonight. Like I was like definitely writing tonight. I'm in the still in the zone. I didn't get to last night because there was a lot of things going on. I wasn't able to. Um, it wasn't like I didn't put anything off. I didn't honestly. Normally I would have prior to my uh, chain breaking experience in my brain that I would expressed last episode if you haven't heard the last episode go back and listen to it because i talk about that um two episodes and i no let's just last episode yeah but there's gonna be an episode between this one and the last one there is next week oh i thought we were putting this out next week no 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 this is banking for on vacation gotcha so anyway um planned on uh writing tonight you know but here we are recording a podcast instead which is fine i'll I'll do you a solid right here i'll extend your deadline till sunday morning 
I mean, I don't care if you did it Saturday afternoon because I like to write better in the morning. Yeah. So I the told problem you, is, is that I'm not going to wake up early. I tomorrow. boasted large and said that I would have two extra pages done. You did to, because you're like, I'm going to, I'm going to leave you in the dust, man. Yeah. That's exactly what I said, actually. <laughs> you How lame is that? No, you said it. I'm going to leave you in the dust. <laughs> yeah. My name's Chris. You're going to see my tail. Yes. Yeah. Like Harley Davidson. <laughs> Anyway, point being, I can't do it either now because we decided to record because this tonight was the only night dude could record our top 10 and he didn't show up. And where's he at? An empty chair sits there. That is really, he's doing that with his mouth. No, that was a cricket. That's amazing. Anyway, he got called in and he had to work uh, all day. I don't know. That sucks on his day off too. Yeah, on his day off. So he's not here. He's going to be pissed. Sorry, dude. Too bad. All right, moving on from that. Let's start the main event. And just like Thanos, at the end of Avengers Infinity War, we have snapped the last half of this podcast into non-existence. Tune into the next episode for the top ten Marvel movies ever.